Hi guys, welcome back to The Pulse, I'm Marcel. Recently I've been talking a lot about NMN and the ban from the FDA, the letter anyways, saying they were gonna ban it. And today I wanna deviate from a lot of that discussion, but I do want to add that I had a discussion with someone in uh, the industry, an executive in the supplement industry, and he had an interesting point where he said, you know, this isn't so dissimilar than what happened with Chromadex when Elysium challenged their patent on NR and won in court because the judge ruled that you couldn't have a monopoly on a natural occurring molecule. And when you think about it, NMN really is more similar to NR than it is NAC, and we may see a repeat of that scenario play out. So a similar take on it that I've had, but a little bit different reasoning behind it. NMN should remain uh, for sale. Maybe there will be a drug form. He also agreed that maybe there would be a drug form of the crystal polymorph because there are so many different forms of NMN. Uh, to that end, there are a lot of different NED boosters. There's NR, as I mentioned, there's NED shots, there's NMN in Japan, they've even taken NMN injections. So there are different ways to ingest NMN. Probably most people take a capsule form of NMN, but there's also a lot of people selling powder forms of NMN, which is the one that I take from Do Not Age. The reason I take it that way is so that I can take it sublingually, sub meaning under, lingual the tongue in Latin, and literally you just take the spoon and tip it under the tongue or tap it. I tap it on my teeth a little bit and uh, it works just great for me. I've always been pleased doing it that way. A doctor told me about that very early on, so I just kind of went with it. And I've come up with some reasons, some arguments for taking it that way, which I think you should at least consider when you're weighing how to ingest your NMN. Um, the first reason is digestion begins in the mouth. There are two processes, digestive processes, that occur in the mouth. The first one's mechanical, or chewing, and that's already been done for you with powder form NMN. In fact, it's the, when you buy an NMN powder, it's usually a very fine powder, so it dissolves quickly. The, the powder inside the capsules is typically more coarse. So if you were to take that under the tongue, uh, right out of the capsule, and then try to take that sublingually, you'd, be, you'd have it in your mouth for a few minutes as opposed to a few seconds. So definitely get a very fine powder. Like I said, I use the one from Do Not Age, and that one dissolves very quickly. It's a very nicely ground powder. Uh, the second form of digestion that begins in the mouth is chemical. And that one is the important one for NMN because the salivary glands create saliva and that begins the chemical process of breaking down the molecule, breaking down that substance even before. It, it signals the esophagus and the lower esophagus going into the digestive tract that you're, you're ingesting something. So it begins that whole process really throughout your digestive system, but it is the first step, and it's a very important step. That's why we eat food and we chew our food. Mom always says, chew your vegetables, uh, because you're gonna start absorbing those polyphenols right in your mouth. It's, it's really true. It's really the best way to eat, chew your food. Um, this leads us to the second reason, which is absorption is accelerated when you take a substance in the mouth. This has gone on with medicine for many years. Sublingual medicine is nothing new. It's not new at all. Some medicines dissolve very quickly and can be taken sublingually. This is an advantage because um, you avoid the acids in the stomach, which can deteriorate that dosage of what you're taking. And with NMN, because it's so dosage specific, how much you take is how much you're going to boost your NAD levels, which is how well you're going to feel. And everybody has a different body, and we all need different amounts of NMN to boost our NAD levels. Some have more, some have less, some need more, some need less. Um, so it's, it's important to be able to adjust that, that amount, which I'll get to in a moment, but also avoid tainting taking that NMN uh, in the digestive tract. Now you can take capsules and you will get the NMN in your blood vessels, but that's post digestive tract. Whereas if you get it in the blood vessels up underneath in the, in the oral cavity, and you can also get it into the sinus cavity uh, much quicker taking it in your mouth. Also, you avoid interactions with food and interactions with any other medicines or vitamins that you might be taking. 
Now, reason number three is a more practical reason, but it's just easy to change the dosage, which I talked about when you're taking a powder form. Capsules that are 500 milligrams are a lot more complicated to adjust the amounts you're taking. But with me, when I want to take a little less or a little more, I can easily do that with the powder. I can sort of adjust to the way I'm feeling or how much exercise I might be doing that way. And I always say I take about one and a half grams a day. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's a little more. If I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, I don't really get sick anymore, although I was a bit under the weather over the holidays. Uh, everyone around me was really sick, so at least I wasn't totally knocked out. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're sick when you're taking NMN because you're fighting it so much more effectively. That's what I've found. I haven't been sick for the most part for a year and a half. Uh, ever since I started taking NMN, it's been a real boost for me. But when I do feel under the weather or, or the beginnings of something or that I'm fighting a virus at least, I do increase the NMN and it's easy to do with a powder. Uh, the fourth reason to, to take it sublingually is because you're buying powder form and you experience cost savings. Uh, it just costs less than putting it in all those capsules and dividing them out into, into bottles. So taking it as a pure powder has some medicinal reasons, some uh, scientific reasoning behind it, but also some practical reasoning behind it. Now, reason number five has impacted me specifically quite a bit, which is taking sublingual NMN may have benefits fighting allergies, sinus infections, and even headaches. I've certainly had none of those things. My life prior to NMN for over five decades was a cycle of every winter getting multiple sinus infections from that dry skin inside the, the, the nasal cavity. And I just uh, would, would get over it in the spring and bam, the allergy season would hit. And then I'd be sick all the way into August or, or just experiencing these symptoms. And I'd always be taken, uh, at the time it was contact, later it became Zyrtec, Claritin. Uh, I remember taking these almost my entire life, and now I don't take any of it, which is crazy to me. And I have to attribute it to NMN because that's exactly when it completely went away. So I'm a big fan of it, and I do believe you can get it into that sinus cavity by taking it in the oral cavity and letting it dissolve and absorb that way. I think it's a big boost and it's definitely benefited me. Now I've got a few tips for you if you're going to do this and, and if you're going to make a change or if you're going to start taking an amen and you decide, yeah, that, that sounds reasonable to me. Uh, drink water before uh, to clear out any other molecules or chemicals. You don't want it interacting with anything. So drink some water before you take it. And then after it dissolves in your mouth, don't drink or eat anything for 30 to 40 minutes. This is true with all sublingual medicines. Also, don't brush your teeth for at least 30, 40 minutes afterwards. Um, I hope this has helped some of you. Uh, I certainly really do enjoy taking it sublingually, and I'm going to continue to do so. For me, it's not really a debated topic. It's just the way I take it. I'm in. So I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Make some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Talk soon.